All right, so today we began big idea number two in unit one, number one, which is identifying unknown angles. Now to identify unknown angles, before we begin, we're going to complete a do first, and we're going to see if maybe you might already know how to do some of this, and I have a feeling that you probably do. All right, so for the do first, we have three questions, and the first one is letter A. So looking at letter A, I see that they want me to find the measure of angle X. And angle X is right here. Now I see two lines that are intersecting and I'm going to try to think about what I know about lines. Well what I know about lines is that a line equals 180 degrees. With that being said, since this is a line right here, this plus this must equal 180 degrees. So using that information, I'm going to find the measure of this angle right here and I'm going to subtract 36 from 180 degrees and I get 144 degrees. So this angle right here is equal to 140 degrees. Now unfortunately that's not the angle I'm looking for. I'm actually looking for this one. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place my pencil where the line is and I see that this right here, these two angles are on the line and since they're on the line they must equal 180 degrees because a, a line is a straight angle so this one plus this one has to equal 180 degrees. So knowing that this is already 144, I'm going to subtract 144 from 180 and I get 36. So angle X must be equal to 36 degrees. Make sure to box in your final answer. Alright, the next one, letter B. Again, I see angle Y and, angle, and this angle right here. This angle is 121, and they are also on a line. So from here to here is 180 degrees. So if this is 121, this plus that, this has to equal 180 degrees. So I'm going to take 121, and I'm going to subtract it from 180, and I get 59. So Y is equal to 59 degrees. Next one, I see they gave me two angles this time. Previously they only gave me one, but now they gave me two. And they're trying to get me to figure out what, how much Z is worth. Now I see all these, uh, these three rays have a common vertex right here. Okay, And since they have a common vertex, and I notice, notice that the vertex is at the center, it kind of reminds me of a circle, because uh, you name a circle by its center. So I'm going to draw a circle. And as I draw a circle, I try to remember what I know about circles. And what I know about circles, um, as I'm drawing this, is this reminds me of a pie or a pie graph or a circle graph, right? Pieces of pie. Now, what I know about a circle and the angles inside of a circle is that they add up to what, 360 degrees. So since they add up to 360 degrees, and I already have these two, I'm going to add them together and I get 254 degrees and I'm going to subtract it from 360 degrees and I get 106. So angle Z is equal to 106 degrees. Okay. Let's move on to the discussion part. Now in the discussion part we're going to talk about some um, some things we already know and we're going to I'm going to introduce to you a couple of new words. All right. Now, before we begin, we're going we're gonna to start right here and we're going to um, read this. And it says two angles, AOC and COB, with a common side of ray OC. Now, I'm seeing the letter O a lot. And I'm noticing that it's actually the middle letter. Now, when we're talking about the building blocks of geometry and how to name an angle, we know that the vertex is always going to be the middle letter. So since they're sharing the middle letter of, Z, of uh, O, then that must mean that they share a common vertex. So I'm going to draw an angle, or I'm just going to draw a straight angle, and I'm going to put O in the middle, okay? And I'm just going to draw a ray, and it can go any direction I want. I'm just going to draw it this way, okay? Now, uh, since AOC came first, I'm going to label that one first. So I can put the A here or, he, or the C here, or they can switch um, the positions on the angles. It really doesn't matter. So I'm going to put A here 
and C here. And then the other one is COB, so CO, so that means B has to come somewhere around here. And this is going to be angle, I mean, I'm sorry, point B. Now notice, they share this common ray right here, all right? And since they share a ray, um, what I like to think of it as is um, the sharing of the ray is kind of like a fence between two neighbors. And you have one neighbor here and the other neighbor here, and they are separated by a common fence or a common wall. Now, since they have a common raw wall, and in this case, the wall is a ray OC, that makes them adjacent angles, okay? And we are going to define adjacent angles down here. Okay? And we're going to define adjacent angles as two angles that share a common ray, in this case, side. Now, again, when you're thinking of adjacent angles, whether or not two angles are adjacent, I want you to think, I want you to ask yourself, do they share a fence or do they share a wall? If they do share a wall, then they are adjacent angles. All right? Next one. The sum of angles on a straight line is 180 degrees. Again, we already knew that, so I'm just going to go ahead and highlight it. The sum of angles on a straight line is 180 degrees. Now, um, if two angles are on a straight line and they are also adjacent angles, then we call them a linear pair. Now, before I actually give you the definition of a linear pair, I'm hoping that you kind of already can figure it out. Linear means line, pair means two. So, again, we're going to define it as two adjacent angles whose sum is 180 degrees. Now, we've seen that 108 degrees before, and that's um, the last time we saw it was when we were talking about supplementary angles. Now, there is a difference between supplementary angles and linear pair, and we're going to discuss it at the end of this discussion. Now, again, we just said that if, a, if two angles are on a straight line and they are adjacent, then that means that they are a linear pair. Now, going back to the supplementary, if two angles are supplementary, then that means that they measure 180 degrees. Now, if two angles are complementary, if two angles are complementary, then that means that they measure 90 degrees. Okay? Now, if you remember the way I told you to remember that, supplementary begins with the letter S, and complementary begins with the letter C. Now, with supplementary, I can change the letter S to an 8 by drawing that line, and then that's where I get the 180 degrees. With the C, since, C, uh, since complementary begins with the letter C, I can change the letter C to a 9 by drawing this one line segment, adding a 0, and it has become 9 degrees. So again, supplementary S, 180, Complementary C, 90 degrees. All right. Now going back to why it's important to know the difference between a linear pair and a supplementary supplementary angles. Supplementary angles are two angles that add up to 180 degrees. But in order for two angles to be a linear pair, they must first be adjacent. Okay. So they must first share a wall or a common ray. Again. With that being said, complementary and supplementary angles mention nothing about where the angles are um, as opposed to each other or where they are in relationship to one another. Whereas a linear pair, they must be next door neighbors and they must be sharing a wall. Okay? Linear pair must be adjacent. All right? Now, 
Let's move on to this example right here. It says, in the figure, line segment AB is drawn. Now, I made a mistake right here in my notes. There is no line segment AB. There's only a line segment AD. So we're going to go ahead and cross this out and write AD. All right? So it says, in the figure, line segment AD is drawn. Find the measure of DCE. So this angle right here. Now, looking at line segment AD, again, keyword line, a line adds up to 180 degrees. So from here to here is 180 degrees. Now they gave us some information about some of the angles. They said angle ACB was 72 degrees. And then they told us angle BCE had this little box. Now hopefully you remember from previous grades that a box represents 90 degrees. So since from here to here is 180, I'm just going to add 90 and 72 and then subtract my sum from 180. Now when I add it together, I get 162. 180 minus 162 gives me 18 degrees. So this angle right here is very acute and it actually equals 18 degrees. So the measure of DCE is 18 degrees. All right, now a straight angle. We've already discussed the first week of school and a straight angle is an angle whose measure is exactly 180 degrees. Now, vertical angles is another new word for y'all. And vertical angles are two angles that share a common vertex. Okay? And sometimes we refer to that vertex as the corner point. Now, since they share a common vertex, they must also be opposite from one another in order for us to call them vertical angle, angles. Okay? So to help us out with this one, this definition, I'm actually going to draw a pair of intersecting lines. And at their point of intersection, I'm going to label it X, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and label the other points as well. So A, B, C, D, all right? Now, if I were to ask you to list a pair of vertical angles, you, one pair of vertical angles you could say is A, X, C, and B, X, D. Now, notice again, it's this angle paired with this angle. They're opposite from one another. Now, another, per, another pair of vertical angles we could list is angle AXB and angle CXD. Again, they must be opposite for, from one another for us to call them vertical angles. All right, let's go ahead and complete the back side. Now it says the total measure of adjacent angles around a point is, okay, so adjacent angles, next door neighbor angles around a point, in this case, this point right here. So again, this angle is adjacent to this angle because they share this wall. This angle is adjacent to this one because they share this wall. And this angle is adjacent to this one because they share this wall. So this is adjacent angles and they're going around one center point. Now this, this should look familiar to you from um, our due first and it was the example or uh, question C in our due first. Now um, since they're going around the, this point from here all the way back to my